Did you find someone to take minutes, honey? No, no, I did not. I was, I, and I'm happy to take minutes, but um, Leanne said that we need to have a secretary at some point. Cause I guess you're not, you know, although I remember Rachel always took minutes. Right. But right. Um, we do, we do, I'll be talking about, we do need to have an opening for an alternate member. So it would be nice if we could have another alternate member. Okay. I suggest we record it, you know, so that you can play it back on a like record it on your phone or something like that well it's being recorded right now so we better watch what we say <laughs> yes it, it's on youtube so yeah, you'll but it's be able not to be is it going to be a, a, available it uh, is okay it yeah. will be on youtube so we post our meetings on youtube oh yeah. we do yeah while yeah. they're virtual yeah oh, okay great yeah so if we're if we're if we're getting together live, yeah, no, there's there's we can keep each other secrets, but right now, well, anyway, so since it's uh, Lisa, are you all are we all set? You are all set. Thank you so much. We you're welcome. Your help so much. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, have a good meeting. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right, bye. All right. Well, I would like to call this meeting to order at five thirty-seven, and I'm hoping Leanne will show up. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> she was supposedly she was she was trying to get on from what i understand um, um we have um and um i'm sorry i'm just writing this down um i do want to say hi to tabitha this is tabitha nancy she's working she works in the planning office and she is a plant and flower whiz so <laughs> she's gonna uh help us give us some suggestions good okay nice you, nancy nancy's also quite the plant lover we've got plant lovers art lovers all different kinds of people Hello there um all right so the first thing we need to do is um is why do i have five one two three four who am i missing one two three all right um is approve the is approval of the minutes how did the mi minutes look everybody <laughs> did anybody read I them move we i move we approve the minutes i'll second it okay i'll um okay what's it um, are there in favor of approving the minutes of november 16th 2020 yeah, you want to ask if there are any corrections, any, additions. Oh, any correct. Okay, are there any corrections to the minutes um, as printed? Nope. No. All in favor. All in favor of approve of approving the minutes from November sixteenth, twenty twenty. Signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Um, all any um. Abs oh no. No. Nope. What's the other one? I abstentions. No, that's no. Okay, right. Actually, we have that's all the people anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right. Right. So I. It was unanimous. You can put it in the minutes. Unanimous. It was unanimous. All right. Okay. Um, I want to welcome Tabitha Harkin, and she came last month and is a very welcome addition. We love her. Um, knowledge and her enthusiasm and later on she's going to show us some pictures but right now um, Bruce and I met her last month but I'm glad that you were able to meet her this month Nancy because she's got some really good ideas great um, I'm just going to go down my agenda items here real quick before we get to the interesting stuff <laughs> We had talked about changing the agenda template because we've been have we've had the same template from the beginning and it we we had um, there's some things that we just don't really use. So I had my suggestion is so if you look at our current agenda to agenda to keep number one through three, call to order, roll call, approval of minutes, and then add new business then go to communications and unfinished business. Um, I'd really like to put the next meeting date in the minutes just so it's there. So anybody who's looking can find it and then adjourn. So we'd be removing the 
committee applications, the fundraising, and the project breakout sessions at the end. Because if we have committee applications, that will just be part of, I guess, new business. Fundraising something would be new business or unfinished business. Um, does any, and I'm wondering how you guys feel about that, if there's any comments or suggestions or things you'd like to see on the agenda um, template. No, I agree. I think we should uh, get rid of most of that stuff. The other thing, uh, do you need to accept Leanne before she can appear? Hey sure guys. She is. Okay. Oh, yay. Yeah. Leanne. All right. All right. Sorry about that. My computer That's wouldn't let me in tonight. Yeah, okay. Well, that's, we, we, for, we forgive your computer. Thank you. Well, John walked me through getting on. Okay, good. The well, town so, manager does everything. <laughs> so it's it's us plus Tabitha. So um, Great. We, just, we just accepted the minutes and now we're just going on to the new agenda template that um, trying to remove some of the stuff we don't really use anymore. Um, okay. I think it makes sense. Cindy, I really do. I think you just need the broad categories for uh, for that, and and we'll plug things in under those broad categories as we need them. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I kept trying to like even now I put on unfinished business number seven. There is no unfinished business on our original agenda. It's project breakout sessions, which we might have again at some point, but we certainly don't have every month. Right. So, yeah. oh, all right. So. Um, um, so, so I, do, so I'm assuming we need to vote on us accepting this new agenda template. Right. I, I move that we accept the new template for the agenda starting in our, for uh, January one. Okay. Is there a I, second? I second it. Okay. Um, is there any discussion about this? All those in. No, mm -hmm. seeing none. Yep. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, so that's all of us. Yep. All right. Well, so then next month we'll we'll um have the new agenda template. I, I wanted to quickly, I was looking, moving on to the mission statement. I I didn't find a mission statement. I did find this nice little card. Remember this nice card that Rachel gave uh -huh. out? Mm -hmm. And on the front, it says, help make Groton beautiful. A committee has been established to beautify Groton and foster economic growth through beautification projects. We are an independent volunteer organization that relies on your support, community pride and involvement. So that doesn't seem quite like a mission statement to me. It seemed, so I was wondering if we could just say, well, our mission statement could be until we, in, unless we wanna change it further, to beautify Groton and foster economic growth through beautification projects. Although I, I also put in through volunteer beautif beautification projects. Um, so, or any suggestions thereof? Uh, I think you could just leave it beautification projects because we're gonna be working with the city and the town to a degree. Okay. That's so true. It's not just volunteers, but we wanna change that focus really because we, we're not gonna get too far just with volunteers right. and, and, and money that doesn't exist, you know? Right. Just, um. Okay, so um, mission statement, to beautify Groton and foster economic growth through beautification projects. Right, that's it. Um, so I'm, um, I'm saying beautify and beautification, but I, I'm, that's a little redundant, but I am, if everyone's happy with that, we can work with that. It's basically what it says now, except it gives less description of our committee. Just Cindy, would you just send it out and maybe we all can think about it until the January meeting and maybe yes. come up with some Absolutely. ideas. I actually, I on my agenda, my original agenda, I had a lot more information and uh, Lisa let me know that that's really not appropriate. Mm -hmm. um, that you, because it sounded more like the minutes. So yes, in the minutes now that I will definitely have that our mission statement, we can vote on it um, uh, at the next meeting. Okay. You can, you can uh, put together your thoughts on it though and send it individually to us just in an email. Okay. Okay. That um, might be good. 
Yes. All right. I'll, I'll probably, I'll send out the whole thing. That's what the card says. And then what my proposal is and please any suggestions are welcome because that I've just kind of took it from there. Mm -hmm. um, I did want to mention that, remember we talked about, um, we had a beautification committee email um, at the last meeting. We actually don't have an email and the emails, they only have, the town only has a certain number of emails or they have to pay for them. So I asked uh, Andrew to look into, Lisa suggested we get a, a, a um, Gmail account for our beautification committee. So mm -hmm. okay. instead of a, you know, Groton, dot, Groton, ct.gov it would be a gmail account does sure does that sound i mean that's what lisa <coughs> said that's what lisa suggested yeah and make a group out of it a group email right so that if somebody get sends it. an email we <coughs> all get it automatically yeah because other yeah or we'd have to definitely um well because we're talking you know and when we get to unfinished business we're going to be talking about uh getting trying to pick out a signature planting yeah, so to be the manager of the account Right. And it's pretty easy to set up. Have you set one up before? Um, I must have because I have a Gmail account. <laughs> well, you but, set up a group under the yeah. Gmail and it, it's for, and you invite people in. So you would you would type our addresses and you can add us automatically. Okay. And, and um, you don't have to invite us. You can just add our emails and then you've got <coughs> a group established and you could be the manager of it. That's, they need a manager and it, that okay. way when somebody sends out an email we all get it okay so like if we were to say we did this contest if if we had somebody who's who sent us an email <coughs> suggesting a certain type of plant we would all get it or we'd have to go in there because no. i thought we'd have to go in there to get it but no it, com okay. it comes to you automatically once okay. the group account is set up Okay. Yeah. All it, right. I set up a couple of them for uh, groups that I belong to. Okay. I'm president of our condo association down here, so I set one up for me. But I have two or three other people that are managers of it, so they can go in and change any of the settings. And there aren't really many settings <laughs> to accept. But, All right. Um, yeah, you set it up, and you send out an email, or I send out an email, and when we all get it. Okay. All right. Okay. That sounds excellent. I'm glad we have a little bit of institutional knowledge here. That makes me feel good. <laughs> all right. Um, I, that's all I have on new business. Does anybody um, have anything else under new business that they'd like I to do. hear? I have something. Did I sent out a, um, I think I just maybe sent it to Cindy, but I sent out a, a picture of some of the um, um, utility boxes that they do down here in the land which are, have art on them. And um, they're relatively inexpensive to do. And uh, and I think I suggested that we talk to Wendy or actually Tabitha probably could help to get permission from um, the people that own the utility boxes. Like Groton probably has some. Um, we could pick a couple of utility boxes. They're, you know what I'm talking about when I say utility boxes? Yeah. Telephone company has them. They're like four feet tall and about three feet wide. And they're perfect opportunities to put <coughs> um, this art on. It's made by 3M. And I'm sure we have somebody locally that can do it for us. We provide the design, which is, again, something that we can work up. I know how to do that kind of stuff, but other people probably can do it too. And it would be a cheap way to get our foot in the door with regard to art. I love the idea and I've seen it in Austin, Texas quite a bit. Yeah, a lot of cities around the country do it. Yeah, I love it too. I've also seen it. Um, we were going to do it when I was in New Bedford and we never ended up doing it while I was there, but um, I Where love the idea. Bed, Where? New Bedford, we ha we were talking about doing it there. We, we hadn't gotten to it yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when you talk about like, when you say it's an inexpensive thing to do, I have no idea bruce not being in an art artist as you are what what inexpensive is because it's about 15 dollars a square foot okay so a typical box um 
would be, I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing now, I don't know how many square feet is in a utility box, but maybe three, four hundred dollars. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's we have to check it out a little bit. I mean, that's just the basic information that I've been able to obtain. Okay. Um, uh, but I'm I'm thinking that Wendy probably has some information about stuff like that. You know, she's involved in that kind of thing anyway. So hopefully she would know a little bit about it. If not, we can run it down. Yeah, well, also I imagine she's probably have a lot, has a lot of um, artists right now who would could really could use some contribute. yeah use some work yeah you can just take a photograph if you wanted to just take a photograph of, let's say of a submarine just for the sake of argument and uh -huh. you can have that transferred to the um, um uh, it's a vinyl kind of thing that they end up making like a decal almost yeah it, so you could do you could just take a photograph you don't even need an artist to do this kind okay. of stuff I don't know that I've seen it like a decal. I've just seen the painting. Yeah, so. they they have paintings, and I'm sure there's probably a lot of stock stuff that you could pick up. I just saw a new one today on the corner down by me, which is a very busy corner to cross the road. And instead of having art on it, they've got a picture of somebody crossing a street, and it's just a, like almost like a stick figure. So it really stands out. It's in yellow and white. And, it's, uh, I've never seen anything quite like it before. So that's a very simple piece of art that, you know, we could do. I've got graphics programs that do it, but. Hey, Bruce, take a yeah. picture, take a picture of that, would you, and send us? Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, I've been, I've really enjoyed getting those pictures. And <laughs> Can you send the one that, that I took a picture of, Cindy, out to everybody? Yes, the, uh, yeah. the utility box, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, that I one can. is an art one, Tabith, that definitely is. Uh, more along the lines of a painting yeah yeah well it's i really beautiful. like the idea yeah and it, the other thing i would love is if i mean it it's something somebody would notice and say where'd that come from you know and then which gets people talking and gets people interested mm -hmm. so thank you very much i appreciate that yeah I, I will send that out um let me make sure i write that down yeah and i can talk to wendy Burry and see um she has any leads and to that end Okay, so you'll do that for me? Yeah, yeah. maybe we oh, have wow. some sources too that we could use because there aren't too many up, up in Connecticut. I, I checked already. There's a, there's one or two in uh, Middletown, Hartford, nobody around us that does this kind of stuff, so. What about what about Westerly that did the whole town? Nobody I, in Westerly either. I checked. Yeah, that was, that was a group that came in, right? They won something and they came in and did all those murals, I believe. Um, are we applying for any money? Are we applying for any grants or anything? Not yet, but I think Tabitha has, might have something up her sleeve that she might be able to, um, <laughs> help me, no, get me the information. What well, I have, I have no money yet, but <laughs> after Christmas, no, after Christmas that I will be able to delve into this fully, but I have a very busy Christmas happening. So, um, anyways, so we. After that, I will. I haven't done a lot of uh, work with grants, but I'm happy to. And I, I thought I wrote down in my la my notes last something about grants. And I think you're right under your name, <laughs> Tabitha. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, maybe I I might have said that if we have a cultural district that we could yes. do for grants. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. But that's like a bigger um, okay. John Burke question as to whether he wants another committee and okay want to do that cultural district thing the um uh, may i yeah. yeah uh the lady that i thought was going to join us tonight from the votech school joy uh did patrice had sent you her name yes yeah i yeah. sent her the information but i have not heard back from her okay she was going to put in for i believe was going to put in for one of those grants she's been wanting to do it for several years it's a very sizable one they could give out for this type of work in a town. I think maybe they used it when they were doing the whales. You know, the little whales mm. that we have around town? town. All over town, yeah. So um, I thought she would be at the meeting tonight. So the first year we have to make sure that we get her an invitation out. Did, 
Uh, yeah, is, I that can... in, is that in conjunction with the students at Grasso Tech? Is that something? No, um, this is something she does. Uh, I, I expect his kids to get involved in the actual work, but um, she <coughs> likes to do community things and she's a very good grant writer. And there's apparently, and there's a grant that the US government gives out and it's a sizable one. Hmm. And so she wants to work in conjunction with this group to look into doing that. Great. That's about all I know at this point. She's a lovely, lovely lady. What's her name? I know. It's Joy, um, oh, I just, starts with an S. And I want to say Staples, it's not Staples. Um, anyways, I did send her the, I did send her the email. Um, okay. Invitation to come. She just, you know, but you know how it is with teachers. They don't, it's, it's very hard to um, uh, always plan everything. Yeah. Um, so let me see. Um, so, so um, she, she's the one who did the art pad that, that uh, we received a sketch from, um, from Patrice Granitowski with these um, ideas of an art pad that you could place the art upon. And, um, and Joy has an idea um, for that. It's Joy Supples, S-U-P-P-L-E. -S. Oh yeah, she was part of our meetings. She's been part of our meetings earlier at, on. Earlier on, right. At the beginning, yeah, and then she, remember, got, yeah, she sure. got caught up in something at school that she had to put her time into. So, right. But I so think I, I'm hoping we'll be able to uh, get her to come to a meeting. Hope I'll work on her for January. Okay. Um, all right, any other um, um, new business? Okay, uh, before we get into the fun stuff, I did need to, I still have committee applications on here because we need a recording secretary um, and we have an opening for an alternate member to the beautification committee. If anyone ha knows anyone who'd like to join us, I, I am on um, in a garden club and I do have a person I'm working on a garden with and I thought I might ask her if she's interested, but I don't, I didn't speak with her about it yet. Um, and, but if anybody can think of someone, especially an, an alternate member, you know, and we're doing Zoom meetings, we're down, we're gonna change, we're hopefully gonna change tonight, vote on going to once a, once a month and um, so it should be only one meeting a month and then outside work, you know, whatever they feel like getting involved with. Any, any, in, any interest in recording secretary? I, I, I already asked. Um, I know you asked me, but you know, I, I take notes for the housing authority board meetings and for the cemetery committee that I'm on and for the, <clears throat> uh, the Noank Historical Society. Yes. So I, I'm, I, and then I don't like to do it. That, I that is it. fine. But I, you were the person who I was going to ask, and then and we, we just need a couple, you know, more more warm bodies. I actually don't mind doing it, but I think Leanne had a good point. It's hard to be the recording secretary and the chair at the same time because, right, you know, something may get missed. But well, I think you know when you set up when you set up your agenda in uh -huh. these highlights. This is what I do, and I have the agenda. I just write underneath yep in each that's, area yes that's minutes. what i'm doing right now <laughs> good <laughs> all right all right i don't have anything under fundraising uh, on the agenda so um now what used to be project break breakout sessions but i just couldn't do say it one more time i put an unfinished business um we had talked la at the last meeting about a signature groton planting and um Andrew had some great ideas. Tabitha had some great ideas. And I, Tabitha actually made a PowerPoint and sent it to me. And I'm hoping that we're going to, she's going to be able to show that. Can we, can we share that Tabitha on our screen on zooming or not? Mm -hmm. I don't hear you, dear. She's, 
You're muted. There you go. Sorry. Um, I just sent it to myself to see because I thought you were going to ask me <laughs> to show it. Um, and I, it hasn't come through my email yet. I'm just waiting for it to come through my email and then I can open it up. Okay. Um, All right. Well, be, be, then let's just move on just to this, the, um, like I had on here, because I know it's going to pop up soon. Um, I wanted to see about, we were talking about specifications for, so what we had talked about, Nancy, was coming up with an idea and putting it out to the town as, okay, what, what does everybody like? Or what, what would your choice be? However, that wouldn't be just an unlimited pick any plant you want. <laughs> we were going to give them some suggestions. What do you like of these plants? Because we're trying to look for um, low maintenance, drought tolerant, and plants that possibly have some winter interest. And so one thing I was wondering about, is there any other specifications? Because I'm assuming that even if we put out some plant ideas, people are gonna say, well, what about this? So we, I would love to also, along with those plant ideas, have kind of the parameters of what we're looking for. So right now I have low maintenance, drought tolerance, and winter interest. Um, I know there were others that we talked about. Tabitha, do you have anything that comes to mind immediately or Nancy or anyone? I think just the look of the coastal um, palette of plantings together. It seemed like I, I, I'm going to vote for blue hydrangeas. I did it from the very beginning. I think that would be beautiful. <laughs> My mind is set. <laughs> yeah. Well, are you are you going to volunteer to prune those babies? Because they are a pain in the neck to prune. But I will. That I believe that is on our list. Don't you worry. And, and I had <laughs> suggested mountain laurel and yep. grasses. Yep. We don't have a specific. Yep. Which is on the list. Okay. And and we were also talking about Andrew suggested, which I thought is a specific number of choices, like five choices. Like, I, I found like it might be a little overwhelming. And, and Tabitha and I had talked about a plant, not just one plant, because it's very hard to choose one plant that's going to fulfill all of our wishes. So we were talking about a, a grouping of plants. Mm -hmm. And um, the five choices could be five plants. A couple of those could be groupings. Um, it's, but um, we, when you try to put, one plant into all these different specifications it it's challenging it's challenging did you, did you come up with a list of five then uh, that fit those specifications did we you? have single plants and we also have um tabitha put together a few groupings mm -hmm. of plants because um yes what so were the single plants get run run the single plants by us <laughs> I have them in a document. I just need to pull it up. It's like it's not coming up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't give her a lot of notice. Uh -oh. so that's, um, but um, while we'll, while we're waiting for that, why don't we? We also I also wanted to pick up speak about the Avery Monument, which we talked about at the last meeting. And um, as it turns out, I mean that's a pretty big piece of property. If we clean it up, they'll supposedly maintain it. Um, I know that uh, uh, mayor, the mayor and Bruce, I know both are very enthusiastic about that property. I'm very enthusiastic about it too. I just don't know how much access we have to it. Like there's no place to park. And so the mayor was saying, well, it's, it, you know, it's just so central, but who, how do you access it is my question. Do you have is that an idea? necessary really to access it for anybody? I mean, okay. really, the, the only thing I think you can put up there is art. Well, I guess Sculpture. I guess what made me think about it was Joy's rendering, which obviously was not written in stone. She had a pad with art and then a sitting area around it. Okay. So maybe, maybe that's not exactly what we are imagining there. I don't think you want anybody there, frankly. Really? You know, it's... Uh, considering who stands on the corner there all the time yeah i don't know yeah it's not the kind of thing that 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 you're gonna it's not like a museum kind of thing where you want people okay to close to it and look at it like a painting or something it, it it would stand all by itself beautifully i mean whatever put is put up there it's, as long it's, as it's, it's a gorgeous clean. spot 
just cleaned I mean, you up. You couldn't ask for a better spot to put right. something in. Okay. That would be enough. I think that would be fine. I don't think you need a sitting area or anything. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, just to tell you, I don't agree with you, Bruce. I think when we clean it up and you look at it, you're going to see that it's ideal to have a, some places to sit. And that's why I had hoped to bring public works in because I'd like to put an item in the budget for stairs going down to it. Doesn't have to be anything elaborate, but if that's there was fine, one, that'd be that's perfectly okay with me. Yeah, we can you know, do then it. Then I think we have a lot of people that walk in Groton, other than the gentlemen and ladies on the corner. But even the ladies of the night need a place. But anyways, <laughs> uh, I th I think we could do a little bit more with it, and and it, and it when it's cleaned up, it's a pretty good sized place, and it looks very it nice. It's a beautiful spot. Do trees have to come out? Are there, there's, it seems to me there's lots of trees. Yeah, there, there's some junk trees. In there. There's a lot of scrub. Yeah. There's a lot of scrub, but there aren't too many really tall trees. I think when we, if we clean out the scrub, it's, it's pretty open. Um, so, you know, maybe what we need to do is um, get uh, a tree warden to go down there with us and mock, you know, right. what we could take out and what we can't take out. And then, you know, from there, we could figure out how much of a, a job. But, I, but we've got people to do that for us because uh -huh. um, Jimmy Streeter said that he would get a group together to go in and, um, you know, clean it up. And oh, as, really? As long as we're part of it. You know, he wants to work with us on it. Okay. And there are stairs from the Route 1, uh, Route 12 access point. There, there's some kind of avenue of approach into that place for a move 12 right off the sidewalk, right near Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, okay. Yeah, so well, there's something there already. So, and it so could my be question is, do we, do we try to do something before winter or do we wait until, I mean, I, I'm, I'm wondering about time frame just since we had right, a major had snowstorm in two days. So. <laughs> well, that's right. That's right. But like otherwise, normally I would be not even considering it, except that I feel like I'm living in Northern California right now because that's where I grew up, and it basically is about forty to fifty degrees right now in Northern California. So, um, so, so in other words, we're thinking um, that'd be a springtime project. Right. Why don't Why don't we make it a spring project? But in the meantime, I think we can take some steps. Right. so that we just don't have to do everything in the spring, like okay, getting the tree ice. warden in there, get the tree warden in to mark some trees for us so that we know what has to be done. Those can be cut now, actually. That's, yeah. they would rather cut trees now. So yeah. if we're gonna make this a project, let's get started. Okay, so do we have a, is there a, is there a tree, is there a town tree warden or is that just somebody the town hires? Yes, no, there's a town. There's a uh, I think it's one of the gentlemen in zoning. If you want, I'll I'll take that on. I'll find out who it is and find out when he might be available. And can you follow up with Public Works to see if they could go in? I mean, they're not going to be. We're not downing redwoods here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just getting in there. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> all right. That's yeah. Okay. Well, that's making that's helping me because I wasn't sure I was like well how if we have a place to sit how, where are people coming from there's no place to park I don't know I know there's people walking there's not a lot of people walking it's not like there's it's not like it's a a, a highly you know accessed area well, I right think now. I think if they know there's a place to park, uh, park you know you've got a lot of senior housing on Drosdeck Drive uh -huh. part of the problem is, is so when they walk out there's no place for them to rest for a while before yeah. they walk back so if we create something like that, I think you're going to find that it's going to be used quite a bit. Maybe we could I do it in conjunction with Dunkin' Donuts, because imagine if you went and got your Dunkin' Donuts, and then you didn't have to sit in your car or drive away. You could actually, you know, bring it over there. Maybe they could. Uh, and they, they might be willing, that. right, they might be willing to pay for some of this. Yeah. Make a little improvements. Jane's a very, uh, Jane that owns it is a very, very generous lady. And um, 
I'm working with something else with, on her with her right now. So, oh, whoops. <laughs> you know, my my partner just gave me a book, How to Say No. <laughs> I'm just across the room, and I'm going to get a lecture. Yeah, that's all right. I was given. I have to share this. I was given this book for Christmas. It's called Death by Meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, yep. yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate everybody and everything they're doing. So speaking of that, since we don't want to die during our meetings, that one, I did send out a possible meeting calendar for 2021, which is the second Monday. We were doing the first and the third Monday for a while. And now I went to the Second Monday, there was almost nothing on the Groton calendar um, on Mondays, and the only date that conflicted was in October when it was uh, there was a Columbus Day. But did anybody get a chance? To, I mean, obviously, we all don't know our calendars twelve months from now. But did are are we in agreement about doing one month one month uh, one meeting per month? Yeah. I think that's fine. I think that's and, fine. And then obviously that's we. Can, to talk, you know. Well, I think that, you know, yeah, right. We'll have one major meeting, but I think I see subcommittees being formed that are going to meet more frequently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Tabitha, can you be part of a committee or you just have to be in the position you are like now? I don't think I can be part of a committee. I, I, I'm pretty new, so I don't know exactly the rules on that. I, I, if I just ask, don't, I if actually ask tell anybody. I asked Patrice, and Patrice said that if you're a if you are a town employee, you can't be on the committee. Oh, okay. And you can participate. You can be a participant, but you can't be a member, like a. So, so you're off the hook, dear. <laughs> you know, though that doesn't make sense because you know we've it, we have had in the past teachers who were on the board of education. So, you know. Um, I'll push it a little. I'll push it a little. See All right. If I can't find well, a way to menangle a little bit. Well, so does anybody have goes the right way? <laughs> <laughs> um, does anybody have any input on these dates? Um, the the unfortunate thing is um, that Andrew probably won't be able to make a Monday, but. Right now he could make a Thursday, but he specifically said that his schedule could change again. Yeah. So there's a lot more going on on Thursdays than there are on Mondays. Mondays so, are good for me, for sure. Mondays yeah. are good? Any Mondays are okay. Mondays are good. Yeah. Okay. All right, so then um, do we have a motion to um, accept? Uh, I believe Lisa said we need to accept this in order to give it to her and have her put it on the schedule. We need to vote and vote it into our, I don't know, into the minutes. Yeah, vote. I make a motion that our- Right, I, I just, I move, I move that we, the beautification committee starting January 1st meets once a month on every other, on the second Monday of the month. Uh, according to the calendar? According to the calendar. Okay, all right. So Nancy, second that. I'll second that. Okay. I think Bruce did before me, but he's speaking softly tonight. <laughs> but carry, carrying a big stick. I not wine yet, that's why. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Give him some wine, then his, the voice will come up. Um, all right, it's been, it's, um, there's a motion that's been on the floor that's been seconded. Is there any discussion? Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. All right. Now, um, Tabitha, any luck? I have it. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have put you on the <laughs> No, no, I'm sorry. I don't know why it took so long. So hold on just a sec. I'm going to try to share my screen. Could, could I just interject for one thing? Because unfortunately, we're having a special um, uh, council meeting in 15 minutes. Okay. Um, I just wanted to ask all of you if you could possibly watch the town council meeting on the 18th. 
apparently there was a survey that was done for what was what was going to be done at the building that uh, the rec department is going to have up at the Mystic Oral School. <laughs> and um, the reason I'm asking you to watch it is that there's been a company that's been doing a survey and et cetera and et cetera. And um, in that facility, there is a theater, a magnificent theater. Mm. And I had an opportunity to be there with one of the gentlemen that's the uh, right hand kind of to the developer. And I said to him, I, you're really willing to refurbish this theater completely? And he said, yes. I said, all new seating, all new curtains, sound system, the whole thing. And he said, yes. I don't want to lose that theater. Mm -hmm. I think it's a magnificent opportunity for Groton. Yeah. Fortunately, I believe when they put the survey out, I lose our girl from the town, probably a conflict. Anyways, when they did the survey, I believe they said auditorium. They didn't say theater. And so a lot of people thought, well, we don't need another auditorium. We have them at all the schools. So I, I would ask you just to watch um, if you feel as I do as we go forward with it, I would hope that you could be voices for something that I would bring, I feel would bring so much to Groton. Um, Leanne, was that, it's already happened or it's happening in the future? It's happening, they've done the survey, they're coming in with the report and their recommendations. And, and the date of that is? The 18th. It's a council meeting on the 18th. The 18th of, De of December is a Friday night. No, well, that's not it then. Um, I thought it was the 18th. Let me see. I'll have to check. Maybe it's January. It's coming up. I'll, I'll check on it. Let you, you all can know. send us an email or send me an email and I'll send it out. Um, yeah. or send I, text. Like I said, I, I'm not, all I'm asking people to do is listen. And if you feel that uh, a theater could add something to our community, then fine. If you think an all-purpose room would be a good idea, that's fine too. But I think it would just be an absolute shame to lose something. We have a lot of groups that would be ready to use it. We have uh, other entities like ballet and so forth that you know need a place to. Sh to show what they have. I think I think it could take us up a notch in Groton. So yeah, I when I went on that tour, from what I understood, it was it had been planned to be removed. So um and I don't want that to happen. Okay. All right. So if I can just get you all to watch and then if you send feel us the date. Send us the date when it's I, it's I will. I'll find okay. out. All right. And I've got to leave because I have a council meeting. So, okay. Well, so our next our next meeting is uh, Monday, January eleventh. So I hope uh, you will. I will see you well before then. But if not, have a very lovely holiday. Oh, thank you, and the same to all of you. And um, who's got the screen up, waiting for me to shut up? Um, oh, it's me. Don't worry about it. Lisa. <laughs> okay, Tabitha. I, if I put you in a, a difficult position, I apologize. Not at all. Not at all. I had heard that about that theater. So. Okay. Yeah. I, I think it was just misfortunate that they didn't say what was really there. Yeah. So, well, we'll. I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much. I apologize. I hope you for... can. I hope you can go back and watch the rest of this because this is a nice little presentation with with color photos that Tabitha put together. I absolutely will. Okay. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you. Bye, Leanne. Bye, Leanne. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to all of you. <laughs> Smile on Christmas. <laughs> all okay, right. So, Cindy, you want me to just walk through this? Yes, I would love it. Thank you so much, Tabitha. Okay. So, this is plants. Um, and I just, we've thrown a bunch in here. So, I'm going to go through them. So, Liriope, which is a lily turf, which is an evergreen. Um, it's, it's almost an evergreen in this area. It's, it gets a little bit, um, lacks density in the winter time, but it, it does give you Is that a ground cover? It, is it it's, a it's kind of a, a mid 
to, it's it's higher than a ground cover. It's mm -hmm. not quite a, a shrub or a perennial. I mean, it's a perennial. Yeah, it's kind of like a small mini grass. Yeah, it's like tufty, like a like a strappy grass. Yeah. And, and that's this a, that's a variety that has a variegation to it, but there's like a, a solid green variety too. Does it spread? No, it's tufty, so it's like plugs. You get plugs okay. in it. But it looks really nice in the wintertime, I think, because um, it gives you that evergreen look as long as it's not snowed mm -hmm. on. Hookera or coral bells, which is a nice drought tolerant planting and comes in so many different colors. Um, really does well in shade areas. Um, I love hookera, but it it's, can be an acquired taste. Um, leucanthemum, uh, leucanthemum or Shasta daisy, you know, that just takes off like wildfire. Um, it does look nice in a, in a coastal planting scheme. So you can do it with some, you know, Rebecca even, some Black Eyed Susans and um, some Echinacea. Um, uh, excuse me. Oh, hi, me, Leanne. Can you take me out of this, please? I can't get out. <laughs> All right, let me see if I get, let me get my <laughs> participants. Um, okay, let me see. You're a panelist. Leanne Moore. Um, I, I'm going to try to remove you. Sorry. Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to remove Leanne Obrey? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There she goes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Sorry. Thank you. That's okay. So the Shasta Daisy is just like a simple, um, simple planting that's it's a nice filler. Uh, Sedum Autumn Joy, again, is it's just a one of those bulletproof plantings I go to all the time. It's it's nice in throughout the season. It kind of changes color, which is nice. It's very, very drought tolerant. Um, Cindy, does, is that what you have in your yard? I have many different sedums. <laughs> you do. That's the tall one. The one that I dug out for for you is a, was a low growing one, but it's, uh -huh. it's where where we were digging in my yard. That's to the left. I have the tall sedum. Oh, yeah, this looks really nice with the. I always like to pair it with hydrangeas and roses and um, mm -hmm. you know daylilies and that nice coastal grouping. And then, which brings me to pasture rose, which is usually what I specify instead of, um, um, oh, I'm drawing a Rosa rugosa, which is more invasive. Um, so it's a very similar, uh, similar structure as Rosa rugosa. It's just a, it's a non-invasive variety. Are those the little um, rose hips there? Yeah. They, okay. Yeah, you get those too. Uh, Stella Doro daylily or any daylily really is great with low, again, low maintenance. It can take salt from um, plows really well. So it's great as an edging planting. Looks good with the coastal mixture that we're talking about. It blooms throughout the season. It's cheap. It's a great filler plant. Um, there's, I mean, if you have nothing else, you could just put daylilies in <laughs> for days. <laughs> Cranesville, I just threw in this, I think I threw in this for fun because I just really like it, but it's a nice little geranium. It's a nice little low growing, almost a ground cover geranium um, that looks nice with those coastal plantings. Nepeta or catmint or nepeta, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that ever, <laughs> but that's a really beautiful, um, brings some blue into the garden. I also specify Russian, Russian shape sage for the same reason, but it doesn't have the nice fragrance that catmint has. Um, catmint also blooms forever. It starts forever. to bloom and it just keeps going. And the cats love it. Knockout roses, these are great too for low maintenance. Um, just want that beautiful rose look, that really, really everlasting blooming, <clears throat> um, much more lush than the ah. rugosa or the pasture rose. Okay, so that was my question. So what's the difference between the pasture rose and the... And the yeah, the pasture rose probably has more of a naturalistic look, whereas these uh -huh. knockout, they look a little bit more, maintained, you know, groomed. Okay. Manicured. Okay. Fountain grass, it's a great grass. Um, you can 
cut it down in the winter time or let it change to a, you know, a light sandy color. I love the way grasses look. Rebecca, Black Eyed Susan, again, that's a nice filler planting like the, the mum uh, Shasta Daisy. Just looks really great with um, the other coastal plants. And then we have our Mountain Laurel, which is a beautiful shrub um, and just has that beautiful fragrant blooms in May. And it's Connecticut, what's the Connecticut state Connecticut flower, state right? Flower. Yep. Yeah. And so then I just threw some grouping together. Oh my gosh, a blue hydrangea. There you go, there's your blue hydrangea. <laughs> um, just, these are just some other indicative pictures of that grouping that we've been talking about. It's kind of the purples and yellows and pinks. So there's a lot of plants in there. That's way more than five. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I was hoping to do is like find a shrub or two and then maybe a grouping or or almost like an interchangeable almost like some legos like you could have this tall one and like you, know, you, you always plant in groups of threes or fives or whatever so you know if we could have a, a we have maybe we just have five plants but we mix them differently in different situations because some are going to be happier with more sun and some are going to be less happy but we have a, instead of just trying to pick one plant, we have maybe five plants. Maybe we have five specific plants and we, but we interchange them and blend them together, you know? And that, that way you get a longer bloom time. The, the only thing is these are all, most of these are gonna die back almost all the way, you know, in the, in the winter. I but, I mean, we live in Connecticut. There aren't a lot of things that look beautiful unless we're talking about some type of evergreen. But even it's just, even an evergreen is an evergreen shrub, like, you know, like a rhododendron or, or something. Right. It, it might how have- do, How do azaleas do? Azaleas are, um, azaleas are great. They, they bloom kind of early. Uh -huh. yeah, both azaleas and roadies, yeah. And then it's kind yeah. of over. They love acidic soil. I mean, I think this that probably would love the environment. Um, they get really big. Yeah. The azaleas, yeah. Like the rhododendrons too, right? Yeah, I'm thinking rhododendron. I'm sorry. Rhododendrons get really big. Azaleas, yeah. They're yeah. Similar. Yeah, so yeah, so it's it's so she put this together and I was I was trying to it really I found it really helpful because trying to pick one thing like blue hydrangeas blue hydrangeas aren't going to work everywhere and i gotta tell you they take a little bit of work you know well i think i think if we think in terms of that that has to in my mind it would be nice if we could get people in a little group like chelsea groton bank who wants to take on the you froze uh-oh frozen we're, we're missing you. We're, we're I, 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 I was just planting, planting some color. I think the, this, I'm sorry. Am I? Yeah, you're breaking up. Am I not speaking correctly? No, no, your computer or is, is, you're just breaking up a bit. Okay. Okay. Sometimes try. if you turn your video off, um, if it's, if it's low quality, you can turn your video off and you can hear, we can hear you. Maybe if I unmute me. Yeah, that, that's that good. Be good. All right. So anyway, I, I just see maybe, you know, we need to get some businesses involved in taking on the maintenance of certain things. And I think of like in front of Johnson's hardware would be nice to have some, some color. But again, I, I like the Stella Doro. I, the Stella Doros come out, they pop in color. I like the daisies. And I think blue and yellow and white is a good color combination. Yeah. And now I'll be quiet. <laughs> no, we, we, I love to hear your opinion, Nancy. It's wonderful. Um, I'm, I, we're not really in a position to, Bruce, do you have any um, input? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> I like, you know, I'd, I'd like to see some uh, greenery during the winter time. Yep. That's why I like the. Uh, uh, that's the why you go to tree. Florida. <laughs> yeah, right. we got that's plenty why of it down here. And uh, but any of the any of the flowers really are, are fine. I think I like the grasses and, and the uh, right other stuff. I think I think before we put anything out there, like for Andrew to put a put a um, something like voting, I think we need to maybe put a couple things together, a couple um, planting ideas together, group it. I, I worry that we're doing this. And people are going to say, well, who's paying for all of this? You know, it's like, yeah, this is our, this is our dream. This is our, this is our goal. But, you know, people tend to ask, <laughs> so who's paying for this? This is a town committee. Is there a budget? Blah, blah, blah. Right. Well, but I mean, we're going to get a, a, the new sign. Is I, I think we go back to our. Right, I think we need to our project, like the sign at the end of 117. Right, and and um, Tabitha let us know at the last meeting that that will be coming in the spring. So I was thinking, since we have over three thousand dollars in the budget, we don't want to blow a bunch of it on something. But we, it seems to me that we should, if we could, if the sign went up and we could design a small garden on either side. Right. I think there's daisies because we know I have a lot of daisies. I can <laughs> furnish the town with daisies. So you know, I, um, I do have one suggestion. You know, if we put a sign up there on 117 and one, uh -huh. uh, any any plantings that go around it should be part of the town's budget. I mean, I can't imagine anybody putting something like that together and not enhancing it a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Is that something that we really should be paying for at all? Well, but we should be doing something else, perhaps. Well, they didn't with the last sign they put up there. They just well, put the sign that's up. That's because they don't have any vision. You know, I mean, <laughs> we know that. <laughs> gee. Well, I think but though that's that just, that's just common sense, really. It's, I guess the way I see it, Bruce, is that if we could make something look pretty, maybe there'd get some enthusiasm behind it because the um, like what Nancy said was, and the whole reason. The, the idea behind it with um, how it was started with Rachel Franco was no town monies. Now, I agree with you, we need to work. We need to, you know, write some grants, figure out how we're gonna pay for things. But if we could do something to enhance the beauty right at that area that went along with the um, sign, and I'm sure we could get the town to, I mean, I was just by there today. It, there's a lot of mess. Get the town to clear the mess. And if we could just plant some plants and make it look nice, it could take, it could be quick. It could be very low cost. And it, somebody might drive by and see it and say, wow, that's really pretty. That to me is like, that might grease the wheels a little bit. Well, having been in the government for some time <laughs> and not this year, I do not think that that will work. Okay. You, whatever you do, you're going to be doing on your own forever. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I, I would go back to what I said before. You're going to put a sign there. <clears throat> you want to make sure that it's enhanced with some kind of plantings anyway. I mean, mm -hmm. I just, it, I can't imagine not doing that. Okay. And let the town take care of that. Give them some suggestions, perhaps, on what you'd like to see. Mm -hmm. I think that that's reasonable. Do Maybe we know when the sign is going in? Or something, because I don't know if anybody um, has really got that capability. Do we know when the sign is going up? So I, we have a vague um, discussion going on right now with a sign designer about next steps and, and when things will be fabricated and installed. So we're probably looking at after March, um, just thinking about the freeze thaw cycle. But you know, to Bruce's question about it, does the town put is the town putting in any money for plantings? Um, not that I've heard so far, but I I might be able to have that conversation with folks um, at Public Works, so, you know, to maybe find some some allocation for plantings. That would on that be project. an excellent idea to just make the suggestion. Frankly, I don't know if anybody's even thought of it to be. 
I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean when I'm talking about vision. So I, I think that would be a great thing if you could poke somebody and tell them, uh, hey, you know, this would be great. And, and I, they go along. I wouldn't be program. surprised if all they give us is something like $500. Yeah, they wouldn't care about the money. The money would, I think, be incidental to the whole thing, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can have that conversation. Okay. okay. Thank you, Tabitha. And thank you for the presentation. That's great, because I love to see pictures. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, all right. So I, the last thing on my agenda, and I'm supposed to be listening to uh, Senator Murphy talk about um, COVID. So very shortly. So um, we had talked last month, and I, I, I don't know why I didn't get it in the minutes. We had talked about Christmas decorating around Crotton, Crotton Town and City. And I just wanted to we did not, I did not follow through with that because there is a senior center holiday light tour, which encompasses 18 homes and you can view the homes and then cast a ballot um, at the Groton Senior Center or email it in. Um, so that encompassed both the city and the town. And then the town has, the, the city rather, has, has a number of things it's doing for Christmas, not really um, beautification, but um, just trying to get people involved in um, the town. I mean, the city, looking around the city for reindeer and, and getting people in the, in the holiday spirit. Pfizer, I don't know if everybody knows, but they opened up their campus for the 11th, 12th and 13th and let many cars through, you know, you had to have a reservation, dr drive through the campus to see all their Christmas lights. So uh, I did not go, but I'm sure that, that there was a lot of excitement in the, t in the city. You could go, you didn't, it didn't matter if you were in the town or the city, you just had to sign up. Um, so I did not follow through beyond that since the senior center was doing the holiday light tour. And um, so if you want to see some holiday lights, you can go pick up your, <coughs> excuse me, map at the Groton Senior Center and there's 18 homes that you can look at and rate, pick out your favorite. <coughs> but that was all I had. Does, what else, does anybody else have any um, unfinished business? No. All right, so um, we wanna look into the utility boxes. Um, Okay, Tabitha looks like she's not, she's going to do, be doing all the work, it sounds like. She's going to talk with Wendy Berry <laughs> and talk with Public Works about possible plantings. Um, I'm going to get in touch with Joy. Leanne's going to see um, if we could get the tree warden out there. Um, anything else? Um, if, well, if anybody wants anything else to be on the agenda, feel free to email all of us, you know, if we're going to be meeting once a month. I love talking about this stuff. Now you're going to set up the, the Gmail account, right? So that we can start communicating as a group easier. Yes. yes, I'm going to probably, I asked Andrew to do it and if, and I'll probably ask Bruce to be involved because right. I'm a computer. That's my least favorite thing to do. I, I know. have my I hands know. in the soil. Okay. I would agree. Holding a baby, fine, but I don't really want to no. do the computer stuff. No. <laughs> And I can help with uh, Wendy and Tabitha, you know, whatever you want to do on the art stuff. Let me know. And I can do stuff from this. I really appreciate that. And I love, keep sending the pictures and I'll send them on. Okay. Until we get our account and then you can just send them to the account and we'll all get them. Yep, exactly. All right. Um, all right. Anything else? Nope. Nope. All it's right. great. Good meeting. meeting. Good meeting. Does Good anybody meeting. want to make a motion to adjourn? I'll move that we adjourn. Okay. A second. 640. All right. All, all in favor? Absolutely. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, all right. Thank you all so much. Our next regular meeting is Monday, January 11th, 2021. Uh, 5, 5, 530. Um, we'll be doing Zoom until everyone has a vaccine or, right. I don't know. Sounds what? good. Okay. Have a nice holiday, everybody. All right. Holidays. All right. Thank you so much, Tabitha, for your help. You're welcome. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye, Bye everybody. Take care. Good night. Take care.